With the third scenario, what we're going to do is reuse the platform as it is and reuse the existing rules that we've created to identify a bus cluster and the bus load. And with those two rules, we're just going to let the engine deal with a scenario where we're going to have a bus full as well as a bus cluster. And as you will see, um, it will simply use the same rules but alert the bus driver in different ways. So in this scenario, what we're going to see is um, we're going to have some uh, different information arriving to the bus driver. In our case, we will see that the first bus is going to get full very quickly. And when the second bus starts, um, the information will be fed to both bus drivers. And both information to the, bus, the, the drivers will be different based on the scenario. Um, the first case will be when the bus is full and the bus is in a cluster, we're going to ask the bus driver to skip the coming bus stop when possible. Um, this is not always, uh, of course, possible if some passenger wants to get off, but at least it gives an indication to the bus driver that uh, an action is required um, simply because the bus load is too high and therefore it cannot pick up new passengers but we alert him that another bus is just following him and therefore this bus can pick up the passengers so as we can see now we tell the bus driver that he is currently in a cluster in a cluster sorry that we he has reached 95 percent capacity and therefore we're telling him to skip the next stop when possible as for the second bus, we, the bus second bus is not full at all, it's almost empty. We're just telling, uh, indicating the bus driver that uh, the bus is currently in a cluster. As soon as the uh, cluster resolved, and you will see that the cluster information will disappear, but the information related to the load of the bus will not. So if I hide, for example, the second bus, you can see that the, the first bus is still marked as a cluster, and we are still full. Um, as soon as the cluster disappears, which should appear, uh, happen very soon, um, the information related to the cluster disappears, but the information related to load uh, still stays the same. Um, so this is, again, uh, very useful for a bus driver without having any, uh, any need to look around uh, the bus to know what's happening. I have a dashboard that indicates straight away what's happening. If I go back to the bus driver, I can see that the bus too doesn't have any notification anymore. It's not in a cluster. The bus is not full. If I look at the first bus, that's the one that I still full. We're still indicating the bus driver that it has reached capacity, but because he knows he's not in a cluster, and uh, we we are simply telling the bus driver to uh, act and drive as normal as possible.